Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. Um, if you could tell by, if you could see where the Parfianca pomegranate is amongst all these various weeds and dandelions. Um, the, we, uh, I'm in Central California, Zone 9B, and a couple nights ago we had a long night of rain again here in California. And this top growth of this par Parfianca didn't take well to the heavy, the, the excuse me, the the light heavy droplets on its leaves and it just tilted over. It's not dead, just can't handle all that growth. Um, a lot of seaweed extract, foliar feeding, you know, this is about almost a foot of mulch underneath this tree. Um, it never really gets much sun. I mean, it does, of course, or it wouldn't be this lush, but it maybe gets four hours of sun on average a day. And look how much growth it, I planted this last year. Look how much growth it's done. I mean, it's already at three and a half, four feet. But I have to cut this uh, flush of growth. Now, when people usually prune, they usually tip prune and waste their time, take forever. The, the faster you prune, the better. And the only way to do it fast is to make one to two cuts. Instead of doing 20 cuts, do one cut and finish it. So if I lift it up, I see that the, the growth, let me back up, is right at this V. And if you look from the side, see that, that thick V underneath my, right here, this bump? That's too much growth. So the I'm gonna be cutting it right here initially, then I'm going to cut a little shorter. Bye bye. Now some of you might go, oh my god, your tree is all gone. It's going to grow even faster because I pruned it. Let me take a look care of that nub. That's it, nice and clean. Look how much growth came off that thing. Parfianca pomegranate, regarded as one of the best tasting pomegranates in the world or cultivar in the world. Totally edible seed, perfect sugar to acid ratio. And look how much growth I just cut off of that small little guy. See, the weeds are taller than it, but you're gonna see it's gonna grow much faster. I don't like this growth though here. Let me take this down too. Right there. Keep it all even. Where'd that go? And keep it down here as living mulch. Let it degrade back ashes to ashes. Feed itself with itself, kind of like how it should be. All right, guys, just chop it up a little bit more. Help, help it break down a bit. So that's it. So if you have a tree that's tilting over, don't go, oh, I don't want to cut the growth. Forget that. Cut the growth, and you're going to be rewarded by more growth. Nothing spurs, nothing flushes more growth than pruning and heat, of course, but pruning especially. All right, guys. You can barely even see in the camera. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Happy gardening.